Okay, I'm, I'm going to follow up uh, Dr. Healy's talk and just emphasize the points about data transparency. And so in the video just now, um, Dr. Healy mentioned that is what is under the hood of Pfizer clinical trials is not science. He said it's business. I've been reviewing industry-sponsored clinical trials for over a decade, and I tend to agree with Dr. Healy that business and marketing often seems to be in the driver's seat. In my case, it took place a decade ago in the midst of another pandemic, swine flu. And for four years, we fought to gain access to the clinical trial data for the drug Tamiflu. Instead of an eight-page journal article telling us about a clinical trial, we wanted the 1,000 pages of internal company study documents that we knew were under the waterline. The fact that the Tamiflu data were inaccessible came as a shock to even the editors of medical journals, who had reasonably assumed that since data is fundamental to scientific, the scientific process, surely it must be available. But it wasn't then for Tamiflu, and it isn't today for COVID vaccines. In fact, if you're interested in analyzing the data for, say, Pfizer's trial, you'll have to wait until May 2025 before you can even request it from the company. For Moderna, they recently said uh, that the data, quote, may be available with publication of the final study re results in 2022, end quote. And since the trial's not officially to end until October 2022, we're probably talking late 2022. So yes, the trial has still not ended. And yes, doctors and researchers who want to see the clinical trial data will have to wait another year from now before getting access. For J&J, try next July. If you weren't aware that the data were inaccessible, I suspect this is because so few healthcare practitioners and researchers are accustomed to conducting an independent review of the raw data. So there's little outcry when those data are inaccessible. And next slide, please. So while we're told to keep following the science, what we are following is not a scientific process based on open data. We're following a process in which the data are treated as secret. And in my view, there's something very unscientific about that. I feared we would end up in this situation because data secrecy, I'm sorry to say, is the status quo. In 2015, the Institute of Medicine published a consensus study calling for a culture change in which data sharing became the norm. Not the exception, but not enough has changed. Last August, before we had results from any of the pivotal COVID vaccine trials, I co-authored a commentary with Dr. Healy saying clinicians and professional societies need to declare up front that they will not endorse treatments or vaccines unless there is complete data transparency. The point I'm trying to make is fairly simple. The data for COVID vaccine trials isn't available and it won't be available for years. Yet we are not just asking, but mandating millions of people take these products. Whatever word you wanted to want to use to describe this situation without data, it's not science. <laughs>